Hey everybody, my name is Celup, and welcome to a new series that I'm going to start doing when I have free time. So it won't be all the time, but just kind of when I have free time. And it's called The Soapbox because this is going to be a more casual type of Let's Play. That's why I picked Don't Starve here. It's a good game that you can play casually, and there's a lot of downtime to kind of talk. And the purpose of this is mainly so that you guys can get to know me and I can get to know you. Uh, I feel kind of weird calling it soapbox or whatever it makes it seem like I have a lot of interesting stuff to say but not really it's more just uh, some people were asking about my personal life and stuff like that and so I figured it's a great way for us to mess around with some fun games uh, casually and we can just kind of get to know each other so we're just gonna play as Wilson here uh, I haven't actually played as her yet I've only played a limited amount of time with this game but it's super fun already. So yeah, like I said, some people just kind of wanted to hear about my life, and which is kind of weird because I don't think I'm that interesting of a person, but I'm just some normal guy that likes to play video games and puts it on the internet. But that's okay, let's gather some grass. Um, I guess since this is the first episode, we should start out with uh, why I decided to start doing let's plays and that kind of thing and then how it kind of morphed so basically I a long time ago I was into making amnesia mods and I was working on a couple of ambitious mods one was called the estate and one was called Atlantia which I, I'm pretty proud of I think they were going pretty well and I think they were pretty ambitious but that may have been the problem because it might have been a little too ambitious, and I didn't quite have time to actually devote to them to make them to the point where I wanted them to be. I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I wanted them to be excellent, and that takes a lot of time. And modding takes a lot of time. And that's kind of how I, I started off getting a passion for mods. And this guy named Cryotic, you might know of him, actually... Um, contacted me because he wanted to play one of my mods so I basically said hey that sounds cool let's do a sneak peek thing and I gave him a demo of the mod and that was my first introduction to let's playing I had never heard of it before then so he made a video of that I watched him play my mod which I thought was awesome that somebody would actually want to play my mod and make a video of it and the guy was hilarious and if you have heard of him, you know he's hilarious, and he has quite a following now. That was a couple years back, uh, about when Amnesia was first released. So, I'm happy for him that he's grown so much. And, basically I saw that and I started watching Let's Plays a long time. Uh, watching his Let's Plays, mostly only him, and eventually I discovered that this was the thing. Like, a lot of people did this and I never realized that because I pretty much didn't use YouTube except to watch the other amnesia mods that this guy played so I started branching out and I discovered day nine awesome uh, Starcraft community caster and also hilarious by the way and so I started watching him and then I started realizing there were a lot of up-and-coming let's players uh, the main one that caught my attention was a guy, Canadian guy by the name of Christopher Odd. You might have seen him on my featured channels. He is a great guy, he's super nice, and what was really encouraging about him is that he had just started about three months before I discovered him, and he was already at something like 2,500 subscribers, and I was like, wow, this guy is growing really quickly, and with good reason, because he's, he's great. He has a great personality, he's super nice. And basically, I I watched one of his videos where he was talking about how he had just got partnered and how he was actually starting to make money doing this. And I was like, you know, that's awesome. Why, why do I not do that? Why am I just sitting here watching people play games when I could play games? And it was really inspiring for me, basically, to hear him talk about how it was actually an attainable kind of goal. Um... To start a channel and not to make money just to have fun but you make a little extra money and basically if you can pay for the games that you're playing or even get games for free I consider that a win so 
I decided basically to start doing Let's Plays after watching that video by Christopher Odd. And um, some of you guys might be here from the beginning. Uh, not too positive. I started out kind of in a different direction than how the channel is going now. I basically started with a Let's Play of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl because that was a game that I had in my Steam library and for some reason I had never played. So that was kind of my first... What the heck is that guy doing? Okay, like I said, I'm not too familiar with this game. That was kind of my first uh, Let's Play. And before then I hadn't realized how actually time consuming it is to do a Let's Play. I was like, oh, well you're just doing a video game and then posting it, but you gotta edit it, you have to try and make sure you're not just blabbering nonsense. Well, you can blabber nonsense, but it's got to be at least somewhat entertaining. And so I learned a lot in that. I learned a whole lot about how to actually capture footage, how to basically uh, edit the audio before, like for the first five episodes or so, if you watch that playlist, I didn't know about Audacity yet which some of you guys might not know about, that's an audio recording program that you actually use in conjunction with Fraps so that you can get your audio and the game audio on two separate tracks. And I hadn't heard about that yet, so the first couple videos, my audio is terrible. But it was a good learning experience. I learned all about rendering in HD and stuff like that. And everyone was really supportive that watched the video. I got uh, quite a following for that, which I was not expecting. I got something like, in my first month, I think I had like 100 subscribers at the end of my first month. And I was really encouraged by that. And I was like, wow, people actually are watching me play a game. And that's something I love to do. I've loved video games always. So, you know, that's just a cool thing that people are willing to actually watch you play a game, give you tips, and just generally be excited about seeing a new guy enter the community of a game that they like. So that was kind of my first uh, experience with Let's Playing. I messed around with Primordia because I like uh, indie games. And that was a good game. I feel like that was a decent Let's Play. That was the first one that I actually finished because it was a lot shorter. Um, and then basically, I don't quite remember exactly what was next. We really need to build a fire here. Oh crap, we did not chop down a tree. We may die because I got too into talking. Uh oh. Let's chop, 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 chop. Oh crap. Can I build a torch? Yes, I can. Hurry up. There we go. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so maybe not as casual as I thought. You kind of have to start thinking about what you're doing. Anyway, um, the first game that kind of took off for me was The Cave. And. I say took off. I'm not I'm not very big, obviously, as you know, by watching this, but to me, it took off for the size that I was doing. I was currently getting like 50 views, 25 views a video, and then the cave got me like, uh, they all have over 1,000, 1,500 views now, so that was pretty cool. And I actually, the way I got the cave is kind of a funny story. I had um, some items on Team Fortress 2. And if you play Team Fortress 2, you might have heard of the infamous earbuds. And I had no idea what those were because I don't really trade on Team Fortress 2 very much. Uh, but I had them in my inventory. They were just sitting there. And, like, every once in a while I would just get a message from some random guy. It's like, hey, what do you want to trade for earbuds? And I was like, sorry, no thanks. I don't know what you're talking about. And then I finally realized that there were these Team Fortress 2 earbuds. And the guy was willing to trade me, like all kinds of weapons and stuff, and I was like, well, I don't really play Team Fortress 2, so this will not benefit me in any way at all. And so he was like, okay, well, 20 bucks. What game do you want? I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, 20 bucks. I'll, I'll get you any games for 20 bucks. So I had him pick up the Cave uh, pre-order and also some Dishonored DLC. And basically... I, I wasn't really sure what the cave was going to be about, I, it, but it looked pretty cool because I love Monkey Island. So I had him pick that up because it was just the next thing coming out. And so I decided, well, I have this game. It's coming out tonight. I might as well just stay up and record a playthrough of it. So I did, and 
I posted it on the Steam's Guides feature that had just come out, and I actually got a decent amount of views from that, which was pretty cool. Uh, and then after that, I pretty much watched a video of Total Biscuit playing Antichamber, and I was like, I have to play this game. This game looks awesome. I love Portal, I love those kind of weird experimental type games, so I played Antichamber, and that's kind of where a huge amount of my views came from. And I wouldn't say that's the best playthrough as for a walkthrough type of form. I know some people kind of spoiled me in the comments, and I think what I'm going to start doing is posting like a please do not spoil me type of thing, because I think it took a lot out of the game. But as far as for the views and the subscriptions gained from that, I that was a big win for me. Um, and many of you may have discovered me through that, so I'm curious. Uh, I probably should have prefaced this at the beginning or the end, but if you guys are watching this, I would love to know how you guys discovered me, just because I think that's always pretty interesting to know, and it would help me out a lot as far as like what's working for me, what's not. I'd also love to know how you like the, uh, if you've been here since the beginning, how you like the new direction of the channel, um, just so we can kind of get to know each other as well. Um, but I'm kind of losing my train of thought. What was I going to talk about? Um, so we got Antichamber. Yes, and then I noticed um, that Christopher Odd got this awesome honor from a Minecraft gamer. Basically, I think she does mostly Minecraft, but you guys may have heard of her. Her name is I Has Cupcake. And I had never heard of her previous, but I noticed that Christopher Odd had won the Gamer of the Week, and I was like, wow, that's really cool, I'm happy for him. And she had, like, a huge amount of subscriptions. She has, like, 300,000 or something. And so on his, uh, on the video that he won, I was like, hey, she says to leave comments if you want her to check you out. So I left a comment and said, hey, you'll probably never read this, but check me out. I think I'm doing okay for myself, and we need to eat some food right here. But, and surprisingly enough, she actually did check me out. And I'm still kind of amazed by that because she gets tons of requests. Like, absolutely tons. So I was pretty honored. Let's go get those rocks so we can build a fire pit. I was pretty honored to become Gamer of the Week. And on, basically, I checked my email and I was like, it notifies me every time I get a. Um, what am I doing here? It notifies me every time I get a new subscriber. And I checked my email and I had like 24, 25 notifications for it. I was like, what the heck is going on? So I tweeted and I was like, thanks whoever mentioned me. I have a bunch of subscribers coming in. And then somebody linked me to that video. And I was like, wow, I'm Gamer of the Week. And that was a nice confidence boost. It makes me feel like I am doing a good job. I pretty much strive to have high quality videos. Uh, I don't always succeed. There's a couple that I think I could have done a lot better, but I really try to make every video better than the last, and I aim to have a um, an informative and high quality type of video. I'm I know I'm not the most hilarious guy in the world, so that's kind of not the route that I'm going. Um, but yeah, so I got Gamer of the Week, and that was right around the time that I was rebranding my channel. And because of my previous passion for mods and stuff like that, I actually um, decided that it'd be really cool to focus my channel on mods, indie games, and user-created content. Because there's a lot of user-created content that is really good that people just don't appreciate the way they should. It's hard for somebody who's just creating user-created content, uh, Portal 2 maps, Amnesia Custom Stories, whatever, to actually get noticed. And I wanted to acknowledge that because a lot of people spend hours and hours and hours making stuff and don't get any appreciation from it. So I was like, hey, I know what that's like. I would love to make a channel that's devoted to this. I figured it's something different. Not a whole lot of people. I couldn't. I searched for mods, mod of the week, that type of stuff in YouTube, and the only thing I could find was tons and tons of Minecraft mods. And I'm not really a Minecraft player, so I was like, man, nobody really does this stuff, so I should do this stuff. And so that's why I decided to go in the direction that I'm going. Um, let's see if we can place this right above the rabbit hole.
that might work. Okay, so that's kind of why I decided to go in the direction that I was going. Unfortunately, I had to discontinue a couple playthroughs that I was doing at the time, which I, I hate leaving a series unfinished, but just had the way it had to be. So that's basically my story of how I got into Let's Plays. I thought I was going to say one other thing, but I think I forgot, or I already said it. It might have been about the whole Gamer of the Week thing. Um, but yeah, that's basically, I've been going for since December 12th, so I've been going about three, four months now, almost, so it's been a super fun ride. I don't regret it for a second. If you are somebody who is thinking about starting Let's Plays or starting some type of gaming channel and thinking, oh, there's just so many, it's not worth it, I would highly recommend doing it because, yeah, there are a ton, and I'm probably never going to get famous doing this, and that's no problem because it's just something fun to do, and it's a great hobby. If you're already into gaming, why not, basically? Let's see what we can... I see no reason not to. Um, the way I see it, I'm going to be playing these games anyway. I might as well make a video. And if people like it, great. If people don't like it, oh well. I made a video. And as long as I keep making each video better than the last video, or trying at least, then eventually maybe people will like it. So I highly encourage you, if you and if you're thinking about doing anything like not even making YouTube videos, but just have an idea, just go for it. It's so satisfying. I, I don't regret going for it. Um, some people were kind of asking about my personal life. I don't want to go too far into detail, but a lot of times I might miss a video or whatever. Um, I try to stick to my scheduled upload schedule as best as possible, but I do have a wife and two kids and another one on the way. And we just bought a house that we're fixing up, and I do work 40 to 50 hours outside of this. So, if I miss a video, please understand that that's why. Nobody's been upset about it. I'm probably the most hardest on myself when stuff happens like that. Most hardest, it sounds ridiculous. I'm probably the hardest on myself when I miss a video. Um, but just so you guys can kind of understand where I'm coming from. Um, but yeah, this is kind of just my way of relaxing to be honest I know sometimes it's kind of um, kind of I say this very hesitantly it's kind of like work sometimes but I don't mean that in the fact that it's not enjoyable I mean that in the fact that I'm a very uh, planning ahead type of person and so it makes me uncomfortable if I don't have a schedule that I'm sticking to so I just try to make sure I have videos planned out and it's all good to go and this is kind of just when the kids and wife are asleep I come in here I record some videos and it's just a way for me to de-stress and kind of uh, forget all that crazy stuff that's going on um, so yeah that's kind of just me and that's how I started playing video games on the internet um, I greatly appreciate it all of you subscribers Oh my god, there's a frog after me, and I don't have a spear yet because I haven't been paying attention to what I'm doing at all. I've been paying way too much attention to talking, <laughs> which is okay, though. We'll see if we can survive like this. Um, but everybody who's subscribed, everybody who likes a video, watches a video, I really appreciate it a lot. I know at the end of every video I say thank you for watching. I truly mean that. I truly mean thank you for watching because... I feel like for a new YouTube channel, I've had a ton of success. Uh, I'm sure there's people who've grown faster, I, no doubt, but I feel like I'm growing really quickly, faster than I ever anticipated, and it just feels really good to do something that I love doing and have people actually appreciate it. So I want to you guys to know that I appreciate you as well. So um, like I said, let me know what you think of the channel. Um, what you like, what you don't like. I'm really open to feedback. I love uh, all types of feedback, even criticism, because that's how you grow. So if there's anything you guys would like to let me know, feel free to stop by, um, leave a comment. And if you guys want to leave any uh, questions for me that I can do in the next video, I probably won't be doing these um, 
too regularly. Basically, just whenever I have free time, I'm going to make these. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions that you would like me to answer, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try to get to them. I... I don't know, this is the first episode, so we'll see how stuff turns out. Hope you guys are liking this. Let me know if you, um, like I said, feedback. I, I keep saying let me know, but you guys will let me know regardless. So, let's go ahead and try and salvage this day a little bit, because I've not been paying attention to what I'm doing. And we really need to get some stuff for a science machine. So let's see if we can do that real quick, and we will end this video at the when the day ends. And hopefully our trap will catch a rabbit. And this game is super fun, by the way. If you haven't seen anybody play this before, I highly recommend uh, looking up some videos of people who actually know what they're doing. Uh, because, like I said, I've only been playing this for a day or two. And it's pretty fun, though. It's kind of like, uh, reminds me a little bit of Terraria, something like that trying to just survive um, and create stuff, but I really like the style of this a lot better. It's got this Tim Burton kind of feel to it, and it's just really cool because you never know what you're going to discover next. There's all kinds of crazy, intricate things to discover, and yeah, it's a fun game. I recommend checking out somebody who knows a lot more about the game than I do and who can explain it better, but... I'm having a lot of fun just running around and exploring stuff, seeing how long I can survive. I think I survived till day 9, but, um, <laughs> day 9. Anyway, I believe my wife and child are getting back from the store, so I better call it a day a little bit early. My dog is starting to bark. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you again soon.